I am kind. And what are you doing at Fan Fair? Well, I'm here. I'm in the FCO booth, the International Fan Club organization. And um, I'm the last artist that worked with the great, late great Wally Fowler. You might remember yes, him from the Grand Ole Opry. Yeah. And uh, he also discovered Patsy Klein and Hank Williams and Chet Atkins. Um, this year I'm doing real well in the European charts, and uh, we are, have been displaying with IFCO for the past couple of years. So, I'm you know, People go about their country music careers in 18 million different ways. And how did you decide to go the route that you've gone? It just worked out that way? Yeah, it did. You know, fate. I would say you had a traditional a, country exactly, singer, exactly. I as do opposed a lot of, to the disco ball country singers. Yeah, like. I do a lot of uh, traditional country and gospel music. I also Which do that. Which is popular in Europe because right. their idea of country and ours is not the same thing. Exactly. Yeah, it, it's a it's been a really uh, inspirational mm -hmm. you know thing for me, especially uh, having worked with Wally and the original Oak Ridge Boys Quartet. Mm -hmm who, uh, you know, that goes back a long ways, so... You know, marketing is so much a part of country music now. Uh, are you involved with the Internet at all? Yes, I am. You've got your own website? I sure do, at www.angelabaker.com. Yes, that'd be A-N-G-E-L-A-B-A-K-E-R, one word. That's correct. Dot .com, and what's on your site? Well, I have uh, music videos. Uh, you can also hear my music. Um, numerous, um, if, a lot of information about me, bios. The Angela Baker story. Exactly, the whole Angela Baker story, and it That's might take you two months to go through that. Because <laughs> when you start reading your life story, you say, when am I going to die? You know, because I remember the first time I wrote my biography, I said, well, that's kind of, I'd like to meet that guy, you know. It's right. Pretty, pretty strange. It keeps it, growing every year, you know. And uh, the Internet has been awesome to it's me. It's a cool deal, it really is. I'm also located on Billboard Talent Net. You could find me at... Uh, well, it uh, has changed names now. I can't think of the name of it. But if you go to www.billboardtalentnet, you can okay. find me there as and well. That's all one word, Billboard Talent. And then Talent dot net, net, right, okay. dot com. Mm -hmm. And what's the uh, neatest place you ever played? Oh, I would say you down... Close your eyes right now. Think about the greatest place you ever played. The greatest thing I think that I did was uh, down in Atlanta, Georgia, or around Jonesboro, mm -hmm. uh, Georgia. We performed at the Performing Arts Center, mm -hmm. and um, Wally Fowler had asked me would I take the... Uh, seat of the original Oak Ridge Boys Quartet because one of the members, Deacon Freeman, who now sometimes performs with the Oak Ridge Boys, get, he had gotten sick that night with a sore throat. So I went out to do that show, and that was really the basis of, you know, the really beginning of my career. And um, I got to say that a couple of weeks later, he, he passed away in a drowning accident. Wow. So that was really so um, inspiration. Good luck came basically. Yeah, right. It, it, you know, I guess I could say that show meant more to me just knowing I was there with him and had that uh, time to spend with with a great legend. That's great. And you can learn more about Angela Baker on very easily AngelaBaker.com. That's not very. That's not very hard. Just come on over. I'd love to hear from all the fans. And Everything you ever people. wanted to know, and then some. Thank right. you. All right, thank you.